So this was something that I have been interested in exploring for quite some time in my own spare time when I'm not on here. The language that is Python and how it applies into game development, as well as other languages and game engines, of course. This will be a relatively short video on the subject here, and admittedly, my experience in this field isn't as extensive as a lot of other people, but I will delve into it nonetheless to the best of my ability. So. Let's get started. So Python is a language that is commonly associated with machine learning, data science, analytics, etc. It's one of the most used languages and is also one of the most accessible. It's generally a good starting point for those that want to get into programming and may be intimidated by other languages like C and C++, the language where the first step to learning it is by trash talking every other language. But one field that you won't often see Python associate with is game development. And there are a lot of reasons as to why this is the case. One of the biggest reasons is performance. Languages like C++ just simply outperform it in this aspect, and games, in general, are very complex programs consisting of physics, shaders, controllers, rendering graphics, math, music, and much more. More powerful engines like Unity, Unreal, and Godot can simply accommodate for users that want to make a more detailed and intricate game. Whereas with Python frameworks and libraries geared towards gaming, there will be a lot to be desired in both graphics, frame rates, and overall performance, especially if you're making a 3D game. Historically, it's been something not as widespread or as desired as a core language to use for game development, but it has been utilized in other aspects, such as scripting and adding logic to the game. In fact, some popular games have used Python, such as EVE Online, where a good portion of the game's functions and interfaces were written along with Python, but the low-level aspects of the game were written in C++. Make no mistake though, you won't be able to make a game on that scale or level of detail with just Python alone. It just isn't feasible. Which is why over the years, people have used wrappers along with Python or have written engines based on Python but combine it with C or C++ to get more rendering juice out of the language. You can find a ton of games on the web that are written in Python, using some of the existing libraries or engines such as Pygame, Piglet, Arcade, Panda 3D, and Ocena. These are the main ones that developers will come to use if they wish to make a game using Python. In today's video though, I will be looking more into the first person scene, or first person shooters, or just first person games written in Python. So let's get into that, shall we? Some of these games I will be showing will have been written in either Panda 3D or the Ocena engine because they are more suited towards 3D development compared to Pygame, Piglet, and Arcade that is more suited towards 2D development. You can do 3D in them though, but you will see exactly why people often don't use them for 3D the moment that you boot up an application that uses them. In contrast to Panda 3D or Ursina, you will find that they can render more efficiently and the performance and the frame rates are significantly better. So a bit of background detail on the engines. Panda 3D was an engine made by Disney, more specifically the Disney VR division. It was originally intended to assist in creating VR experiences for Disney theme park rides in the 2000s, but later on it would be used to make an MMO called Toontown Online. In 2002 it would be open sourced and this would enable developers to make their own games using it. The engine itself still gets explored here and there but has been outdated and outperformed by pretty much any engine released since. With this engine though, it's not entirely written in Python, in fact the core aspects of it were written in C++. The interface of it however, is in Python thanks to an automatic wrapper generator written for it. On GitHub or on itch.io you can find a few projects that use Panda 3D. And there was also this game called A3P, an open source arena shooter that is a third person and first person hybrid. Mostly in first person when you aim and third person just for the general camera and movement. It's one of the few good looking games written with a Python based engine such as Panda 3D but there aren't that many games that use the engine, let alone first person shooter games, so you're not gonna find a great deal with it. Then there's Ursina Engine, a lightweight game engine that you could literally download through the command prompt. Like Panda 3D, it also supports 3D development, but with Ursina, you could also make a ton of different games with it, and it's quite easy to use given the available number of prefabs that you can use to kickstart a prototype. In fact, here's something that I made with Ursina. It's nothing too special, just a simple 3D platformer that uses the first person controller prefab, but with other projects that I've tried, you can modify the existing controller or simply create your own, which has led to me discovering some unique projects here and there. The graphical detail in a lot of these games is pretty decent for a 3D Python game that runs well, 
You wouldn't really be able to get something this detailed in something like, say, Pi Game, not without staggering performance issues anyway. The engine itself uses the Panda 3D library in order to create runnable 3D games that don't run like absolute shit. It's fully open source as well, meaning that you can modify the engine source code to something of your liking. You can even use Blender and Photoshop along with it, even changing textures in real time while your application written with Ursina is running. You can use either engine, but keep in mind too that Panda 3D has been out longer, whereas Ursina isn't as well known and hasn't been around for as long, which means that it'll be harder to find resources online or as well as help from the community to help you out. And in most cases, you may just have to figure out the more unique problems that you have yourself. So, can you create first person or first person shooter games with Python? Absolutely. It just won't be on the same caliber as something like say Godot, which is a far more powerful engine, which also has its own language called GDScript, which is very different from Python, but is somewhat similar in terms of syntax. And you can even write in Python if you really want to with Godot. But as for why people would want to use Panda 3D or Ursina Engine or even stuff like Pygame, well, it boils down to your goals regarding programming and game development. Game engines are fantastic for those that are more interested in just making games and aren't too concerned about learning everything about programming. They provide a ton of tools and resources. Most of the core components pertaining to engines, such as math, physics, and rendering have already been written for you. But there are those that use things like Pygame or its upgraded version, Pygame CE, or Piglet, or Arcade, or Cena, or Panda 3D to develop games from scratch. The reason for this path is that it gives developers the experience of creating something from scratch, and you learn more from programming doing this than just using a game engine, whereas with a game engine, you're learning to use its interface, you're learning to use its functions, whereas with programming, you're learning everything from scratch. You're learning how to build everything from the bottom to the top, so to speak. With game engines like Unity or Unreal, and as I've already said, Godot, a lot of the written stuff in it already does the work for you, so you don't have to worry about as much. Not to mention the far more accessible interfaces that they have, whereas, like I said with things like Pygame or Panda 3D or Asena, you have to do everything from scratch. Whereas from scratch, you're generally just looking at a code editor with lines of code that you write in the effort to make something out of nothing. There's no right or wrong in this category, but you do still have to factor in the scale of your project and what tools would be best suited towards it. If you're making a large scale, intricate shooter, sort of like Ultra Kill or even a game like Severed Steel, then you'd be better off using something like, say, Unreal Engine or Godot, or even a custom engine of your own making, written in a more powerful language like C++. But if it's something simple and minimalistic and you still insist on making a game with Python, then use Pygame CE for 2D pixel based games and maybe other more prototype based 3D games, or Ursina or Panda 3D for 3D based games. There have been clones that have been remade in Python such as Minecraft and even Team Fortress 2 of all games with the same sounds and sense of movement. And the best part about developing in Python is, is that a lot of the times you can usually see the source code for many projects that you find and is a great way of discovering how each code base differs from one project to another. Python is one of my favorite languages and it's always cool to see people develop all kinds of games for it, even first person shooters. It may not necessarily be ideal to use for game development, but it's a great motivator to build up a portfolio of projects to show that you've had experience with the language and that you have something to show for it. It. I'll provide some links in the description so that you can check these games out as well as the engines suited towards 3D development in Python. Thank you for watching.